The first step when replacing the LCD panel on any laptop is to make sure the laptop is not plugged in and to remove the battery. Then remove all visible plastic screw covers on the screen assembly. This laptop has five covers on the front, two on the left side and one more on the right side. Once done, go ahead and remove all the screws attaching the bezel to the top cover. Please keep track of the unique screws. Here we have three large screws on the bottom and five smaller screws on the top and the sides. Now that we removed all the screws, the bezel can be removed. Carefully pry the plastic away from the screen, starting from the top, gently wedging the fingers in on the sides, moving to the bottom. Try not to apply too much force, it is possible to break off plastic tabs underneath or to fracture the bezel. In IBM T60, the inverter is attached to the top cover with a single screw. It will need to be removed to properly disconnect the backlight power. The top cover is not attached to the screen frame, so it can be gently separated to gain access to the frame screws. Mind the Wi-Fi cables running through the frame and don't overstress them. Go ahead and remove the four smaller screws securing the screen in. To gain access to the back of the panel, the IBM vanity light has to be snapped out of the top cover and left hanging for the installation. The light is attached to the video cable. Flip the screen over, bottom over top, and carefully peel off the white tape securing the video connector. Disconnect the video cable and discard the old panel. Most screens ship with protective film, but if your screen doesn't appear to have any, then line the top cover with a cloth or a paper towel. Put the new screen on the top cover and reattach the video connector. Then flip the screen back into its original position and snap the vanity light back in. Remove the protective film if present. Reconnect the backlight power and secure the inverter. It is very important not to force any of the connections. All connections are very fragile. Once all the connections are secure, line up the screen with a frame and secure the smaller screws. Flip the computer around and pass in the final two smaller screws. Again, mind the Wi-Fi cables. They have to be lined up with the screen frame properly before installing the bezel. The final step is to replace the bezel. Since the top cover is not attached to the hinge, proper bezel installation is vital to laptop's integrity. Place the bezel on the screen making sure it lines up perfectly with the top cover, then carefully start snapping the tabs back in. Start from the top and the sides, minding the latches. Leave the bottom edge unsnapped until you properly align the video cable guide. Use a screwdriver to snap the guide into its axis. Replace the bottom three screws. At this point, it is safe to test out the new screen. Go ahead and connect the AC adapter and hit power. Once the screen lights up and the startup graphics appear, you will know if the screen is properly installed and working. Hold the power button again to cancel the boot up and disconnect the AC adapter. Replace the final five screws, two on the top, two on the left side and the last one on the right side. Please note, in some cases you will need to use a small screwdriver to properly align the screw holes on the side. Reinstall the screw covers and voila, you're done.